cooking up a little feast here this evening. It's a two burner kind of night. Oui. Oui. We've been eating leftovers, I think probably the last two or three nights. And we've had tuna fish salad for lunch every day for the last three days. So tonight I decided to make tikka masala. Uh, it's the last big meal I think that we can really make um, with the last of our fresh produce. So we've got carrots, cauliflower, peas. Yeah, I think that was it for the fresh stuff and everything else was canned. And then we're gonna go into Marsh Harbor and hit the grocery store and get some more fresh stuff. If we're running out of food, this is, this is pretty good. Was this a vegetarian dish? This is this is vegetarian. It looks like there's meat in there. Yeah. What are those hunks of things? Tomato, carrot, onion, chickpeas, English peas. How's that? Looks delicious. Thank you, love. Hey, You're do welcome. we still have wine? Yeah, we have our wine. Let's drink some wine because it's Friday! Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> she said it was guava, right? Guava roll. It's got just a tiny bit of tartness to it. It's real good. Last episode, I made French toast with Bahamian coconut bread, and we've been obsessed with Bahamian baked goods ever since. We're off to the grocery store. This is Maxwell's, the largest grocery store in the Abacos. This was our first time here, and I was really keen on discovering how their prices compared to what we were used to in the States. How much do you normally pay for that hydroponic lettuce? Probably $4.99. Okay, well it's $4.30. Wow. Strawberries were $5. They're not organic, but I'm happy to pay that. <laughs> oh, look at this. What else we got here? $4 for a... Very small red. Yellow green. It's not really that bad. No. Maybe you only prices that you can't believe. Yes. <laughs> Some of them are pretty Yeah, good. we've been surprised. These are crazy. Yeah, well, normally they're like five bucks in the States. Are you kidding me? That's like from San Diego. Yeah, it's from Carlsbad. Before we bought our boat, we lived in Carlsbad, a beach town just north of San Diego, where we used to buy the stip at the local farmer's market. <laughs> Really? That is nuts, yeah. Bitchin' Sauce, Carlsbad, California. <laughs> Closer to Carlsbad than we've ever been. Aww. This is like a Publix. It's like even better than a Publix. Oh, oh, oh. Airbites. I haven't had bear bites in a long time. <laughs> I came to offer you a bear bite. Ooh, I would totally love a bear bite. Mmm. Nom. That is nuts. Oh, this is granola first. I'm just really impressed. A lot of processed foods were definitely more expensive, though most of it we wouldn't buy anyway. And even if we wanted to pay $10 for a quart of ice cream, our freezer doesn't get cold enough to keep it frozen anyway. Overall though, we were pretty impressed with the selection and most of the prices. Wow. Look at this. Decaf sweet coconut Thai. Chai. Oh, that's That cool. sounds kind of good. Can I try oh, that? Oh, it's a rooibos. Sure. So we got two bags of groceries for 67 bucks. And we didn't get everything that was super cheap either. We got the like the mid-priced eggs and we splurged almost $7 for like a tiny little box of lettuce. I see them. I see Rob. I see Rob and I see our boat. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I didn't even think about our boat. I figured she'd be there. This is the Marsh Harbor Public Dock. We found out that tying your dinghy up here meant that it would most likely become a part of the playground for the local kids. Coincidentally or not, this was the first time our electric outboard wouldn't turn on. Flash. Oh, sorry. 
Thankfully, after disconnecting and reconnecting the battery, EV powered right back up. How about we get all of you guys up on the dock and you all jump at once and make the biggest splash possible and we'll go for okay. that. Oh, you got me a ride? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to jump in all at once? Give me a ride. Uh, if you can bring me by the big dock. Uh, the big dock? No, oh, you guys got to go jump off that one. Yeah, this one. Why are you two people? Why are you two people? Why are you two people? Good afternoon. Hi. Take my picture. Smile. Yes. <laughs> hey, we don't want to hit anybody. Seriously? Is there someone holding up? Can you let go of our boat, please? Kids don't listen to shit. Yeah, well, when you ask them to do something, and they do the do exact the opposite, fudge they want to do. Poor Rom got abused this afternoon. They're little monsters though, no different than any other kids. We told them to go jump off the dock and make a biggest splash as possible. They all got excited, but somehow that translated into them all swamping our boat and trying to climb aboard. Aw, feel bad. They're all just trying to have fun. But yeah, but yeah. no, our, our motor was not working. Yeah, that was a little disconcerting. So this is the haul, and after unpacking it all in the boat, I just realized how much packaging actually all of this food comes in. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it seems like gone are the days where you could buy produce just out of the, the bin. I mean, there's still a lot of it you can, but... We got some bananas, apples, and some limes, and a tomato. Oh, I wonder how much that tomato was. It was only $2.94. It was 89 cents a pound. And it was 3.3 pounds. That Sweet. tomato weighs three pounds? Wow! That boy. Does that weigh three pounds? That doesn't look like three pounds. <laughs> this is the second time ever that we've made spring rolls. So we were just walking around in Marsh Harbor trying to find a coffee shop and we stumbled on the Abaco Asian food grocery store. So we go in there and it's like eight square feet, but the shelves are just lined with tons of canned and jarred sauces and all sorts of stuff. The guy sold us on some rice noodles. He said that a lot of cruisers get these because they cook really quickly, so you don't need a lot of fuel. And we got these Vietnamese spring roll wrappers. Veggie sandwiches are our lunch staple and we're looking to mix it up a little bit. So we use a lot of the same veggies that we normally use, but we got these microgreens from Maxwell's. Which we need to bring beans to sprout next year. Yeah. And Kirk likes mandarins on his. Is that it, except noodles? Bring in the noodles. So I'm sure anyone who actually knows how to do this would laugh at this. Like, look at what's happening right now. <laughs> I can't get it off the plate. But definitely on the first day we had a lot more rips. And then Kirk realized that I was soaking the wrapping paper for too long. So then it got really wet. And then the lettuce kept puncturing right through it. So You can't eat spring rolls without some dipping sauces. So we got some, I love peanut sauce. And this we use on tons of stuff. So we got a big bottle of that. Sweet chili sauce. All right, time to eat. So it's rained about four times today, and the forecast has rain pretty much every day for the next week in some percentage, 20 to 80 percent. I mean, that's some pretty built up cloud banks over there. We've had a couple of lightning storms, so it'll be interesting to see how this evening goes. Whoa.
Yikes, man. Have we run through a thunderstorm this bad before? I don't think so. Not with this much freaking lightning. This is a little scary. Ah! Go away! That was very close. There's some really, really thick lightning bolts. There's really not much you can do on a boat when it's storming because it's so loud. You can't really sleep. And you have to close all your windows because it's raining. And then it gets really hot and stuffy. So, you pretty much have to sit and wait it out. And try not to get too scared. And then maybe go back to bed. Tea and grapefruits. It's kind of a morning ritual. The tea is anyway. Uh, the grapefruits just started when we started spending more time in Florida. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So this is probably our second to last grapefruit, I think. Uh-oh. Yeah, I wonder what the price is gonna be at Maxwell's. They certainly don't grow them here. Yeah, they don't really grow much here, right? We heard pumpkins and squash, they grow squash. Here. Maybe. They grow lots of chickens and pigs. Yeah, they do. And conch. <laughs> yeah, and conch. We survived the storm. No lightning hit our boat. So Kirk was excited about that. But we have shifted 180 degrees, so we think we're probably going to pick up the anchor and reset it. Scratch it's all, that. It's all a definition. We're it's not going to pick it up and reset it. We're just going to reset it by backing down on it. Is that right, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I just want to tug on it and make sure we're not going anywhere. Because we're in a good spot. There's no reason to pick it up. The holding here is really good. It's like a mud sand, wet concrete. It's ridiculous. I pulled up probably 30 pounds of the stuff yesterday when we reset the anchor because a uh, motorboat called over to us saying that they had 150 feet of chain out and that we might have dropped our anchor on theirs. In eight feet of water <laughs> is the important part. They were standing on their bow giving us the bitch wing. So finally I got on the radio because they didn't get on the radio. I was like, hey, to the boat behind us, what's up? And they're like, oh, we have 150 feet of chain out. I'm like, wow, in eight feet of water, that's, uh, that's a lot of chain you got. I said, yeah, we're a heavy boat. I'm like, you're in eight feet of water. You have at least twice as much chain out than you're going to get an advantage of. Like after, 10 or 12 to one, the chain's not helping you anymore. If you're really that heavy of a boat, buy a bigger freaking anchor, <laughs> is what I wanted to say. But I said, okay, we'll move. We don't want to <laughs> tangle your chain. Besides being in eight feet of water, it's just, it's such a busy, tight anchorage. I always thought that you should have an appropriate amount of chain out and not go to excess, especially when you're around a ton of other boats. Yeah. But I don't know. There's like, what, 50 boats in this harbor maybe? Yeah. So there's not room to swing on 150 feet of chain here. No. Like if you were all alone on a big open anchorage without all the chain you want. Just kind of inconsiderate of other boaters, I think. Yeah. Lauren in her rare habitat. <laughs> when I'm not editing video, which is all the time. I polish metal. How's so it going? I've been here for like 15 minutes. Yeah. I worked on one stanchion base. And did it get off? <laughs> like 90%. Yeah. It's just, it's really nicked up, so it's hard to get all of the rust out of the nicks, you know, without yeah. using like a toothbrush or something. Ooh, well, that looks good, all right? It looks better, but I haven't done the lifelines either. Okay. I've done the stanchion bases and the stanchions. Sweet. Yeah, they're bad. Yeah. They're super rusty. It gets so black. And you're right, once it gets black, you can't get any more rust off. You're basically just rubbing the dark rust back on. So have you gotten a new rag? This is my second one. Okay. This one looks bad too, because there's a bunch of stress cracks. But anyways, that's before. That's after. Show me the bottle. Boom. Bottled magic. That's the stuff right there. <laughs> Keep 
people always ask what our staple food is. Yeah. This is totally it. Mm -hmm. Bone appetite. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some sort of bowl, a lot of times with eggs on it. It's pretty much Kurt's favorite thing. Not like this exact iteration, right. this concept. A bowl of mushy gush. Which usually starts with sautéed onions and diced tomatoes, some greens, cheese, brown rice or potatoes, and might have some breakfast sausage. And an egg on top. And an egg on top. And some spicy cholula on top. No matter what flavor I make a bowl, there's always cholula on top. <laughs> and Lauren hates it. It's like someone who put, puts ketchup on everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're leaving Marsh Harbor today. We did everything we needed. We filled up some water, got food, got a bunch of editing done, and we waited out some high winds and a bunch of rain storms. Now we're on our way to Hope Town. And it's gonna drop a little bit more. Five seven, five six. Just finished our sail and dropped the hook. It was super short, only eight miles. I just put together a little lunch plate. Thank you. This looks amazing. I liked your first words better. What? Holy smokes balls. Holy smokes balls, this looks amazing. All right. <laughs> 